Hello everyone, myself I am Uma and I have overall 8 plus years of IT experience as a data analyst and 4 years of experience as a corporate trainer. I am a Microsoft certified data analyst currently working at Microsoft. Hi everyone, welcome to KSR Data Vision YouTube channel. In today's session we will learn about roll up and e subtotal functions. So these functions are used along with summarize function. So regarding the summarize function and summarize column function, I have already created one more video. You can check that link in the description box. If not, in this session also, I'll try to show you the summarize function because this roll up and e subtotal are used along with summarize function. Okay. So this is my data, the same data I'm using for all the functions, the bikes data. So different bike segments across different regions, countries and the customers as well as the model of the bikes as well as the different colors, the sales state as well as the sales value and the cost value you are seeing here. OK, now let's try to create that summarized table. Basically a sub table I want from this main table. I want a sub table which will have all the country wise means group by country within that country each business segment wise I want the total sales value as well as my profit value along with that I want the subtotals across every country right after every country for each of the business segments I need the subtotals. So to achieve this I am using roll up function to use the roll up function I have to use along with summarize function. So I'm just uh, selecting this table, go for new table. And here I'm giving the name of this table as roll up table. OK, so the function I need to use is summarize function. In this function, I have to pass the table name. That is my bikes is my table name. I'm passing it along with that. I'm trying to use the roll up function. So the roll up function, it is asking the group by column names. OK. So n number of columns I can provide. So I am trying to provide first country along with country. Each country wise I also want to see business segment. So both the columns I'm taking into the roll up function and I'm trying to close this along with the roll up. I also want to show the. Total sales value. I'm using the total sales and then I will give that expression for total sales. This is the measure which is already created for total sales. I'm just reusing it and now I'm using this. Total profit. For that also I'm using some. Uh, measure called total profit and then I'll try to close it. OK, what I did I just took the summarize function because it will create me a new table there are syntaxes I need to take the table name and what all the group by columns I have to give here right group by each country across each country different business segment wise I want total sales and profit so I'm giving this syntax along with this I'm using some function called roll up function which will give me the subtotals for all the business segments right so it will give the subtotals for me for each country. OK, that is why I'm using this and now I'll try to create. If you see here automatically it has created me a new table with the name called roll up table. Now if I go to this table roll up table I can see here. Different countries are there different components I can see and here I can see some values. OK, now what I will do I will just keep this as an ascending order. OK, now it is giving me the. Subtotals, if you see here for the country Australia, whatever the bike is making the sales, clothing is making the sales, accessories, accessories sales and component sales. If I add all this together, I'm getting this sales. Which is the total subtotal for each country. It's a subtotal here. OK, the same way it's for profit also. If I take Canada again, same thing I am getting here for the France also the same way. OK. For each one I'm getting like this for each country based on the different accessories I'm getting the subtotals. If somebody sees this now it may not be readable for them, right? They will think that some business segment is missing here. Some value is missing. 
they will not be able to understand whether it is a subtotal value for this country or not. Now here, if you see this France, this is the subtotal. And for the Canada, if you see, for all this business segment, this is the subtotal, which is the total of the sales value. And uh, this is nothing but the total of the profit value. Now, how to differentiate whether these values are subtotals or not? For this, we will try to create one more function. In the same way, creating the table, we will also create using subtotal. Okay. Now, what I will do? The same procedure, right? So, I will just copy this everything. And I will try to create now one new table. I just giving this new table. Now, instead of roll up table, I will just say is subtotal. Okay. Same way you will follow. Again, summarize function, you will give the table name. Along with the summarize, you will use roll up function. Only if you use the roll up function, you will get the subtotal. So, I am using the country wise business segment. Within the country, for the business segments, you will get the total sales, right? Total sales and total profit. Across each business segment, it will do the total and it will give the subtotal, which will have the complete sales of your all the business segments. Now, after this profit, I'll try to create something called is this subtotal. Okay, this is the name I am giving. For that, I will use some function in the expression called e subtotal function. In this function, I have to give the column based on which the subtotal values you are getting. So, that is nothing but my business segment. Okay, across each country, for each business segment, you are summing up the total, right? So, I am using this subtotal function. So, I will also close this summarize function. So, make sure that you always use this roll up and e subtotal along with your summarize function. Okay. So, I am creating the table name in the roll up. I am giving the columns, group by columns, I am giving as well as the name I am giving, the expression for the total sales as the total profit I am giving. I am trying to create one more is this subtotal because if you see that uh, table, subtable, you should have a clear understanding whether it is a subtotal value or something else. For that, I am creating this is this subtotal i'm using the function e subtotal function and in this i'm trying to pass the column name and i'm trying to close this i'll click on enter so now if you see my subtotal table is also created okay now what i will do across each country right so country wise i'll do this sort in ascending order now if you see this is a subtotal value that is why you are seeing here true okay for the Australia, if you see here, for all these business segments, again here you are seeing true. Means only this line is the subtotal, right? This is the subtotal line. This is the subtotal line. This everything is a false. Because these are not subtotals. These are the sales across different business segments and to profit across different business segments, but not the subtotals. Whereas this value is the subtotal of these business segments, right? Even if you take Canada, this uh, here it will say false, but for the Canada here, wherever you are seeing here blank, right? This blank is nothing but this value is the subtotal of your sales across all the business segment, whereas this is the subtotal of profit across different business segments. That is why here you are seeing true. Similarly, for each country you are seeing here. If you scroll and see, for every country, you can see the subtotal values. Okay. So, this is the use of using the roll up function, which will give you the subtotal. And this is subtotal. See, it has created a new column and it is telling me whether it is subtotal. If it is a subtotal, the row is a subtotal, it gives true, else it gives false. Here also it's giving true. Here also it is giving true. So, wherever it is true, it will give the true for the subtotals and wherever it is not a subtotal, it gives false. So, to implement this only, we are using is subtotal. Okay. So, this is about your summarize function, roll up function and is subtotal function. So, thanks for watching this and um, 
for more informative videos please do like share and subscribe to ksr data vision youtube channel thank you